All right, on deck for today's how-to video is how to do the uh, 25 cent trigger job on a Glock. Um, for those of you guys looking for a ultralight Glock trigger, this isn't for you, but it will help take some of the grit out of the gun. All right, let's get into it. We have a mother's uh, polish here, just standard mother's polish. You can see there's nothing special. A uh, Dremel polishing wheel and a Glock tool or a punch, whichever one you have, and that's all we need. Uh, let's get started and disassemble the gun. I'm not going to go too much into detail here about how to disassemble the gun because I did a, a detail strip video that's already posted on here. So if you're looking for um, some details on it, just go to that video. Uh, I use it for reference, but I'm just going to do it here in case you guys forgot and want a uh, quick um, reminder, if you will, of how to do that. But uh, set that aside. Um, there's other ways to do this, guys. I know flitz polish is a very popular method. Some people use Q-tips. That's fine. If that's what you guys want to do and you feel safer doing that, that's fine. As long as you're using a polishing wheel and not a grinding wheel, I really don't see how you can get into trouble. But uh, I suppose too much of anything, you can get yourself in some trouble. So the key, though, guys, is just polishing up to a uh, mirror surface and not grinding metal off. Um, so that's what we're going to do here in this video, or at least attempt to do, and show, I will try to point out here why to do it in a couple instances as well. Um, there are some guys that polish up all the metal on their Glocks, it's really not necessary if that's what you want to do though. Have at it. Alright, try to grab all the parts that are going to need to be polished here. I think we got them. Okay, these are the parts that are going to be uh, interfacing during the uh, trigger pull, so we'll set the frame aside here and get into the uh, actual polishing. All right, we'll start with the connector. The places on the connector that you want to uh, polish, we'll zoom in there for you, It's gonna be this whole area right here, as well as up here on the lip of the uh, connector. And the reason that is, is um, here on the, uh, we'll try to do it this way, here on the cruciform, where it's connecting, when you're pulling that trigger, that, that's just sliding just like that. So that's your surfaces that are mating together, and you wanna make sure both of those are, are uh, highly polished and that way there's no less friction. On the uh, trigger with trigger bar here, we're going to polish this right here, top of the cruciform, the back of the cruciform, this little back piece, the inside here, as well as the uh, little hump here that we have. Because those, like I just showed you guys, those are the surfaces that are going to be uh, interfacing as the triggers pull. And um, the reason you do the top is because the uh, firing pin here is actually going back just like that over the trigger bar, trigger trigger bar cruise form, and then coming back over as you fire. So back, over, just like that. And those are the surfaces that are grinding together. And if you if they're dirty or rough metal um, surfaces, they're gonna grind against each other. And uh, the last two are gonna be the top here of the trigger, trigger bar, this top here, and uh, the firing pin safety. When the trigger is pulled, it goes back, pushes the firing pin safety up, allows the striker to go forward and strike the round and goes back down. So you have these surfaces continually rubbing just like that, just like I'm showing. So those are the parts that we're going to uh, polish here. It's a real quick job. Once you do it a few times, you uh, can do it real quick. I recommend you wear safety glasses um, because this stuff tends to fly if you're using a Dremel tool. We're going to use it here on the high setting. This is a real low power Dremel. And uh, we'll start with the trigger, with trigger bar inside where it uh, interfaces with the uh, connector. I'll polish up. Just how much polishing you actually want to do is up to you. Um, to me, as soon as there's no um, metal uh, machining marks and things like that that are visible, that's kind of when I stop. I don't really care about the way it looks per se. And make sure you get the back there because that does interface with the uh, firing pin. I'm going to wipe it off and check it out real quick, but um, as long as it's to the point that I know it's going to be smooth and uh, the rough edges are gone, that's when I know how to stop. So we'll zoom in there for you. You can see just how much shinier that looks and it's all polished up and the inside's the same. So you can see that's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to stop right there and uh, make sure you wipe all the excess off and uh, we'll move on to the top here of the trigger trigger bar and uh, basically all you want to do is just go over the top because that's the area that's going to be interfacing with the firing pin safety so 
and go over. And like I said, I mean, you can absolutely use a uh, Q-tip if you want to. That's up to you. You feel safer that way? Hey, rock on. And we're gonna wipe that off. Again, just try to show you there how much smoother that is. I'm not sure how well that picks up in the camera, but believe me, it's a lot smoother. So we'll set that off. And now we're gonna work on the connector. Um, again, polishing up. Let me try to get on camera. That kind of helps, huh? Right in here, as well as on this lip. That's what we're going to focus on. Get up in there, make sure you get that lip real well. You can polish the whole connector if you want to, that's fine. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything, but it's also not necessary because the, the bottom part of the connector there doesn't really make contact during the trigger pull, so. It's not really gonna do anything. I mean, as you can see there, that thing is much, much shinier. Oops. So that's about it right there. We're done with that. Set that off the side. Now we're gonna do the uh, firing pin safety. The key with this one though is that you wanna do the flat surface as well as around the uh, edges there. Um, because as you can see, it's kind of rounded. And this never, well, I don't wanna say never, but it doesn't stay in one uh, plane when you're firing, if you will, so it rotates around inside the uh, slide. So you want to make sure you get the whole thing and you're not taking, or you're not polishing in just the one direction, so you spin it the whole time and make sure you get all the sides of it. Make sure it's all polished up there nice and uh, shiny. So wipe that off. I want you guys to look at that. As you can see there, it's very shiny and there's not going to be a lot of friction there when the trigger's pulled. So last but not least here, is uh, the firing pin. And what you want to do is you want to do this surface right here and as well as in here on the lip because that's going to interface with the back of the uh, cruciform on the trigger bar. So those two surfaces. You can take this uh, firing pin out of the spring if you want to. It's not necessary. Um, uh, user preference I guess. But uh, this tends to be one of the areas with one of the most machining marks on it. Uh, I've done this on quite a few blocks and uh, it is one of the rougher uh, areas of the pistol. Now, you know, when people talk about the 25 cent trigger job, if you will, they, uh, people often say, oh, you don't do it, you don't need to do that, go out and fire your gun a thousand times, and it'll smooth the same surfaces. And you know what? They're right. But, this doesn't cost much, and, uh, it's a lot cheaper than firing a thousand rounds to get this, to get a smooth trigger. So you wipe it off there, We'll show you there in the camera. Pretty sure you guys can see there how shiny that is. And the same with the uh, inside there. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that as well. All right, now we're just gonna go ahead and put the gun back together. Um, while you have the uh, connector apart, I'm not gonna do it here for this video because this is an uh, instructional video, but one place you wanna put, make sure you put some oil is right in there on the uh, connector, oil or grease, whatever you will. According to the Glock manual, it's uh, lubrication oil. But, uh, they don't recommend grease. But I've used grease, it works fine. As long as there's some sort of uh, lubricant down there, it's, it's kind of a critical part for the uh, Glock pistol. All right, we're gonna go ahead, like I just said, and reassemble here all the parts and then check the trigger and make sure we're good to go. Um, try to get this together here relatively quickly. Again, guys, if you have questions about assembly or reassembly, just check my, um, my uh, video about uh, detail stripping the uh, Glock, and I'll link to it here in the video. But uh, I'm not going to go into detail here just for time's sake. <clears throat> and I'll assemble the frame here, and then we'll come back to the pistol already assembled. All right, guys, so we went ahead and reassembled the gun uh, just to save time's sake. And go ahead and rack it real quick, and uh, go ahead and test. Fire the gun, pull that trigger, notice that it's smooth and the brake here should be very clean, which that one was. Rack the slide, release the trigger, and that's it. You put it back together right, and you uh, have now done the uh, 25 cent Glock trigger job. As always guys, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and uh, I'll do my best to get back to you. Alright, thanks for watching.